Howdy, howdy. I am Richard Hay, and I am here with the defending state champion, Jody Batum, and my lovely assistant uh, editor person, uh, Sonia. And uh, we are here to discuss this new book, Texas 42, Zero to Hero, live in Hallettsville, in the KC Hall, at the Friday night warm-up of the state championship with the defending state champion. Jody, uh, what, wh how long have you been thinking about writing a book? Well, that credit really goes to you. To be honest, you were like, well, I asked that question. We need to write a book. And it was first, I was a little bit like, I've only done it word of mouth. I don't know if writing a book would really be feasible. But we went down that path, and I'm very proud to say that we put something that's uh, that's uh, worth the paper that it's printed on. That part is good. Yeah. So Sonia, you've written books before. I've written books. Before. Right. And then uh, Sonia was the one who I would say we would have to give full credit for formatting the book and making it this size uh, to fit in a domino case. Uh, and then she also suggested that we use the Amazon Kindle Direct Publishing. Uh, which allows you to do print on demand so you don't have to buy a thousand copies and you can have people buy it and then they just print it as they buy it and you don't have to have a huge inventory of books to sell a lot of books. What I really like is that you can track your sales and you can keep up with how many you've sold. You don't have to keep inventory, you don't have to don't have inventory or keep track of it. You just go on their website. Jerry's a big fan of inventory. <laughs> inventory is <cool. laughs> <laughs> well, I had a service page. In industries. So, right, uh, yes, that's is. right. Uh, inventory is really just like a car where it depreciates from minute one, and you don't really want to have inventory. Uh, right now we have a little inventory here, but we are going to get rid of this inventory by the end of tomorrow is our suspicion. So, um, about the process. So, I would say a lot of what we did was I would go over to Jody's house, and we would go through and we would write sections of the book and there's a part of the book that is based on Jody's grandfather's strategies. Could you want to elaborate on that? Well, I think uh, my granddad was a very, very strong uh, chess master and uh, a bridge player, so he, he thought very logically. He was a very uh, easy guy to follow as far as he was very successful. He put a lot of thought into uh, playing strategic games. Sure. And uh, you learned a lot just by watching him play and mimicking his play. And I've become a strong player uh, just because he, he was my grandfather. Fortunately, his grandfather wrote down everything that we put in this book in a very detailed codex and then left it to Jody upon his death. Actually, none of that happened. None of that's true. None of that's true. I'd say, you know, once we had a core of something and we uh, we would get it to the people, I can't tell you just how much uh, value that Sonya was part of the process. Oh, super value. It's, you know, it's the difference between taking something that didn't exist and then the next day, to pow, here it is, all right, in human flesh and form. Right. We and literally had people buying the book before we even realized it. We got was he was only doing what we asked in the first place. They were was, very lucky <laughs> that I am so easy to deal but with. I was uh, amazed at the speed and the quality of the things they did at right. the same time. Right. Like what, that was really fantastic. Like once we had a draft, we did actually give out copies of the book to some editors. We did. And they tore it a new butthole. I mean, geez Louise. Cheryl. Cheryl absolutely made it all red. She Cheryl should actually be sitting here. Cheryl got the first crack. Beverly got the last crack. And there are a few cracks in between. Right. But I, I will they say this. Is that yeah. all the editors yeah. actually added. Uh, and they, they made, made changes and suggestions that did improve the quality of the book. So I think the end result is better for having their input. The only thing I think we could have improved on is our early communication. Other than that, I think we did a great job. Well, I mean, I, I've been drinking. Jody, <laughs> Jody actually frequently praises my communication skills. And I, I for one, am absolutely, in a, I mean, I talk all the time. Yeah. It is unbelievable. I mean, that doesn't mean I communicate. It's no, just, no. It's the what you mean me strategy. Yes. That's, it's difficult getting... 
something that exists into a real... I'm very proud of this book. This book came out better than what I originally thought it would. Right, that's to be good. be very honest. No, that's great. All right, this book uh, is a lot of thought went into the book, all right? And it took well, a lot of different people. Some of it was serendipity that we met each other. Yeah. That we, and then I happened to be a person that knew how to do Right, yeah. Things. Right, and she gave me good advice and I can advice. honestly say, if the three of us weren't together, I don't think the book gets done at all. You know, it really took, like, the motivation and the know-how you know, and uh, the knowledge, the motivation, the knowledge and the motivation, and the know-how. And and in terms of buying the book, since you are not physically sitting here in Hallettsville at this table, uh, there is a QR code here. But also, if you go to Amazon and you search for Texas Forty Two, no space, no space, then you will bring up this book. Yeah. Uh, and uh, the Zero to Hero. Uh, and you will find it available for purchase on Amazon and shippable to anywhere in the continental United States uh, free if you have Amazon Prime. It's awesome, right? Well, so don't ship anywhere. Exactly. So, uh, yes, yeah, so thank you, Jody, for your time and Sonia for your assistance in uh, editing and formatting the book and me for being me. And then there you go. So we're good. So uh, you guys have a great day and we will see you on the next video of the Texas 42 YouTube channel.